main question is. But before, what sorry, is it's so important. No, I will come. I'll come to okay, this. Yeah. Sorry to cut you. Yeah, eh? so it's fine. Yeah, so, so what I'm saying, likewise, what they prophesize about each other, like Jesus prophesies about Prophet Muhammad, Moses, Isaiah, even though they exist 1,000 years or less or more, yet they prophesize about Prophet Muhammad. Likewise, Prophet Muhammad prophesies about the future. That's why as a Muslims, we don't just believe in Prophet Muhammad because I was born a Muslim. Rather, we have intellectual and rational proofs and tangible proofs to establish Muhammad as a true prophet of God. If he is, then logic dictates you should believe what he came with because God, the creator, will not choose a liar to convey his message. Who, Do you agree? who identified him? What do you mean who identified him? Your, the, the prophet, who identified him? What do you mean by that? What uh, you said he, there's uh, proofs and evidences to show that this is the prophet. The, the, for example, the rabbis. Yeah. The rabbis that exist, Prophet Muhammad saw some time. Uh, the rabbis, one of them, he was uh, Abdullah ibn Salam. He was a rabbi. Prophet Muhammad came to Medina. He was a rabbi. He said, uh, bear witness, you are the messenger that has been mentioned in our book. So the Jew, Jewish, Jew, rabbi. Jew, Jewish rabbi. Like was the Christians, even the Christians. Like you remember, the even look, look, remember, the Christians, they controlled they, they were controlling uh, uh, Syria, Palestine, they were controlling Yemen, they were controlling uh, part of Africa, mm. they were controlling part of uh, like Turkey, Iraq. After what happened, in the, the, uh, the, the gap of a uh, period of time of 20 years, the, whole, the most of the world became Muslims. Most of Christians except Islam. So why, if, if, if the Jewish rabbis yeah. Yeah, said that... Not all of them, not all of them. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Some of them, some of them knew he was of true prophets, but they rejected him. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. Ya'arifunahu. I will translate it, yeah? Ya'arifunahu. Kama ya'arifuna abna'ahum. They know him just as they know their own sons. Mm. Why they rejected him? Because the, the, the Jews always expected the prophet to come from their lineage. Yeah. When the prophet came outside their lineage, they rejected it. So therefore, they were not following the prophet because he was a prophet of God. They were following him because he was from their tribe. But we follow Allah and His prophets, not because it's from my tribe. They were no. a bit proud, a bit too proud. Arrogance. Arrogant. Uh, that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. I will, I will translate the verse. Allah said, Ya Bani Israela, udhkuru ni'mati lati an'amtu alaykum wa anni faddaltukum ala alameen. O the Israelites, remember my favor upon you, which I have bestowed over you, that I favored you in your time over the rest of the nations. And Allah said, wa ufu bi ahdi, ufu bi ahdikum, wa iya ya fattakun, and fulfill my promise, I fulfill yours. What is God's promise? We go to Isaiah 42. There is a prophet who will come from Kedah. Who's Kedah? When you go to Genesis 25, 13, Kedah is the son of Ishmael. And he says, let the people of Kedah, the inhabitants of Kedah rejoice. The people that of uh, mountain of Selah. Where is the mountain of Selah? In Saudi. Historically speaking, from the Muslims and the non-Muslims, there is no prophet came in that from that place except Muhammad, son of Abdullah, son of Abdul Muttalib, son of Hashim. Then he goes back to who? The son of Qaidar, son of Ismail, son of Ibrahim. You see what I'm saying? That, look, that example of that. Prophet Muhammad prophesied 1400 years ago. Yeah. He said there will come a time when you see the barefoot Arab man competing in building tall buildings. When the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that, back then the people were not known to build tall, the Arabs were not known to, to build tall buildings. You know what I mean? Those who were known, the Persians, the Romans, yeah. the Egyptians, the Greeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, maybe you know, maybe you do not know, where is the tallest building in the world? Dubai, yeah. Dubai. The next one is the, the Dubai, yeah, They Saudi, compete with yeah, one another. KSA, all these... you, you know what I mean? Uh, the, the Arab Peninsula, which is Dubai, Qatar, Abu Dhabi, was 50 years ago, pure desert, yeah, yeah. let alone 1400 years ago. So Prophet Muhammad prophesizing about it is taking the place right now. A person might say, ah, oh, they're doing it because they're ready in the book. But God will never let false prophet prophecy come to pass like that in details. Because Prophet Muhammad, and likewise Prophet Muhammad, were not saying it as encouragement to do it. Rather, as Sheikh Fawzan said, he was what? Warning Sorry, against yeah, it. Yeah, oh, warning against it. Yeah, yeah, warning against it. Because why are you going to waste your money? Yeah. Building people dying out of anger. You know what I mean? Why are you going to reach? The cloud? Yeah. You know what I mean? Another prophecy, Prophet Muhammad said, it will come a time when the Muslims, they will take over Constantinople. Do you know Constantinople? No, Turkey. Yeah. Turkey. Before it was called Islam Abu. You know that. You must like good. City of Islam. Yes? The Muslims took over Constantinople 800 years, something after uh, the migration of Prophet Muhammad. So I'm saying, 
When you bring all these proofs together, there is no any doubt Muhammad is a true prophet. I will give you something which I will ask you a question. Do you know any book okay. on the earth right. that has been memorized, the size of the Quran, that has been memorized by millions of children, yeah. millions of young men, millions of young women, millions of old men, millions of old women? Bear in mind, they don't speak the language of the book. Do you know what Allah said? We have made Quran easy to be memorized. When this verse was revealed, the Muslims, they were not even 2,000. And Allah made it as a prophecy, and it's taking place right now. That is a miracle. Imagine you and I, we don't speak Chinese, but we memorize a book, the size of the Quran in Chinese. It can happen, you know what I mean? That is a miracle. But look, does, does the Prophet have children? Prophet Muhammad had children, yeah, he had, the, he had the four daughters, and some scholars mentioned there was three boys or two boys. And did they uh, have children? Uh, uh, Fatima had children, yes, except Fatima. So where like, is the so Prophet's bloodline now? Yeah, I'm, I'm, my lineage goes back to Prophet Muhammad. So you're, you're the child of Prophet Muhammad? Yeah, offspring, offspring, I goes back to Prophet Muhammad. So you're, he's basically a great, 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 great granddad. So what do you call someone like you? What I call myself? Just of Ahl Bayt. You're Ahl Bayt? Yeah. So the Quran, when it says talking about Ahl Bayt, it's talking about you? No, no, no. <laughs> In general, yes, maybe, but we're specific about the wives. And uh, maybe, like you can say about us, but it was when the verse was revealed, we were talking about the wives. Yeah. Then the, the hadith include Ali and Fatima and Hassan Hussein. That Allah purified them. But, oh, so, oh wait, wait, but Ali Allah, is Fatima's husband, isn't it? Yes, and the cousin of Prophet Muhammad So Ali's children are the only children of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. From, yeah, from, from Fatima. Yeah. Okay. From, but before so I will go. Why did the Sunnis hate him so much? Hate him? We don't hate him. Don't That's hate. a lie. We love him, Ali bin Abi Talib. Of course, I'm Sunni. Okay. Ali bin Abi Talib, we love him. He's one of the companions that anyone speaks so ill of him. He's a person of so what about uh, misguidance. His but uh, no, his children, his children does not have to. What you have to understand, Islam, that shows you the justice of Islam. Islam doesn't mean because you are a family prophet Muhammad, therefore you are, you are there. No. You have to do good actions, but good I've read, deeds. I've read about um, the, the grandchildren of the prophet and. I mean, the Prophet himself prophesied stuff about them while, while he was still alive. Yeah. Uh, it must have been pretty, something significant. Like one of them, I told you to prophecy. Prophet Muhammad said about uh, brothers, brothers, you love speaking uh, same time. Prophet Muhammad said, Sayyidi uh, 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 Ibn Hada, Abu Hassan, Sayyid. That's his son, yeah? His son, Hassan. Grandson. Grandson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He said, he's, he's a leader. And Allah. Allah will rectify through him between two great groups from the believers. And that took place 40 Hijri between Muawiyah's army and the army of Ali bin Abi Talib. Rectify between the two. Muawiyah, that same guy that made everyone curse him out. Yeah, Ali bin Abi Talib. Ali bin Abi Talib. No, that's not true. That's not true. Historically speaking, it's not true. That happened, they said, after Marwan ibn Abdul, Abdul Malik ibn Marwan. But what I was going to tell you, before we go to these issues, yeah? yeah. what I said so far about the Muslim of the Creator, does it make sense to you? I, um, about which part? Like God sending the messengers, Prophet Muhammad declared. Makes sense. So, what is stopping you to become Muslim? Um, I think uh, my life's a lot wider than that. Yeah, but are, you, are, you, are your life wider than worshipping your Creator, the one who created you, the one who provides for you? Yeah, this, is the, this is the way I see it. Yeah. Whoever you believe created you, there's something in your head, in it? Yeah, and, and something else and, and you yeah. honestly believe that that thing in your head mm. is the truth? No, no, not me personally, but no, no. go on. Right, what's in your head? You believe it's the truth or a lie? No, but not because it's in my head. No, no, Because I can prove it outside. I'm not talking about anyone else. I'm talking about you. Yeah, yeah, me, because I can prove it outside. Yeah, but do you believe yeah. that what's in your head is true? No, that's what I'm saying, because I can prove it outside. Now, as something comes to my head, yeah. that some mad things come to my no head. Ma no matter why you believe I don't, it's I don't true. believe it's true. Why, why you believe it's true is a different issue. But the fact that you believe it's true, yeah, yeah. what you believe, do you believe it's true or false? Which one are you talking about? What you believe. About the Islam is true. Everything you believe in. No, I believe some false things. I believe some stuff is false. I believe some things is true. But Islam would you is the truth. The false thing? Yeah, I believe they are false. If you, if you found out something is false. I believe, believe? Are, yeah, I believe they are false. But would you believe it's true? That's what I'm saying. I believe not, it's not true. It's you false. You can't believe it's true. Yeah. So at the end of the day, what you yeah, believe is true yeah. can only be affected from the outside sources unless you do something inside you, but you also need more stimulus and more information to get more pieces of the puzzle. What do you mean by that? 
what I mean is, what I mean is, yeah. what I mean is, what what he thinks are lies and what you think are lies might be two completely different ideas. You have the basics of what is that explains what it is, yeah. But he might see something, you might see something. You know what I mean? But as when it comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's not about our thinking because we know Allah told us. I know us. what you mean, yeah, yeah. fam. But, yeah, but what but, I'm but, saying but, is when someone thinks God is a woman and someone thinks God is a man, sorry bro, yeah. basically, to them, that's the truth. Yeah, but uh, forget about what is but, in their head. To them, to... they can prove it to themselves. Same no, way, same no, way no, to no, you, no, no, no. You can prove it I'll to give you example. I'll give you example. Do you get what I'm saying, though? No, I understand your point, but that is not... You know, that Ibn Taymiyyah, one of the Muslim scholars, addressed this point. Okay. This point, let us be realistic. There are some things, yes, exist in your head, it's truth. But we're not talking what only exists in your head, we're talking in the real life. Yeah, for example, for example, this from your head, no, no, not from the real life. No, 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 not all the time, not all the time, okay. not all the time. For example, of that, Christians they believe Jesus is God. Is it God in the real life? Is not. Jesus, he was over according to them, he was overpowered by Jews. But they say God is all powerful. If he's God all powerful, he cannot be overpowered by anyone else. So in the real life, Jesus cannot be God. Only exists in their head. Do you yeah, understand that? In, in their life, that's all they're told. Uh, that's a different point, but my point different. No, but do you understand what I'm saying? I understand that. If all the... you're told is Jesus is God, yeah. and in your head you believe Jesus is God is the truth. But in the real life, what about in the real life? Because it's not about what I'm saying, it's not about what only you think in your head. Yeah. It's about the real life. For example, uh, uh, no, for example in, my, in my head, I believe a donkey he has 20 legs. Yeah. Does a donkey have 22 legs? In the real life? You can. No, no, in the reality. You could do that, but, but no. a born donkey, no, he doesn't stand that's, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So these things only exist in people's head, they don't exist outside. For example, but knowledge. You're talking about metaphysical things being proven by scientific methods. No, I'm not talking about this scientific method. Natural things being proven by. No, I'm not talking about lines. this. No, I'm just, Example of that. When you, uh, what I'm saying, uh, there is only things exist in your head. I agree with you. That's a philosopher's. Speak about this issue. You talk about, but you talk about uh, creativity and imagination. What do you mean, talk about creativity? We're talking about yeah. belief based on the knowledge you gain. So the Quran says that heaven has a tree, it has a river of honey, it has what this paradise. Yes. However, yes. God tells you in the same book yeah. that there's nothing in the, in the heaven that is like anything you've seen and you can never imagine it. Yeah, the, 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 so the, the, the names, it, the names, yeah, yeah. just similar. So the way yeah. I see it is that if I see something there, you never saw it. I, I don't know what it's called. I've never been taught about it. I've never seen it. But I tell you, look, it looks like half a tree, half a horse. These are two things you've seen, but because you haven't seen that thing, you don't know. You can only imagine. You know what I'm trying to say? You don't know yeah. what I saw. Of course, I don't know. You, I know you know what a tree is, and I know yeah. you know what a horse yeah. is. So it's the only thing I can. It's the only words that you understand that I can talk to you. In. I can't talk to you in Chinese. That's the only, that's what that's the only words. That's what I'm saying. So, so what you believe in your head yeah. might be a different thing to what he believes in his head. No, no. As, uh, wait. There are some issues. Uh, maybe I agree in some some things. Do you get what but, I'm trying to say, though? Yeah, I understand your point, but your point is not really. Uh, how I'm gonna say? Valid. It's valid. It's not valid. Why? You know why? Let me give you an example. Made my point you know, you keep talking about what you believe in your head only is it true because it's in your head. No, no, no. I'm saying to you what you believe is true. Yeah, not to him. Maybe what to him is not. No, what he believes is true. He believes it's true. Yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. You believe it's true. So you it's, believe it's true. It's subjective. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm saying that's is, what I'm saying. It's subjectivity. Yeah, but that, that's that a part Islam. Because Islam is objective, uh, and we can prove how that. How can God blame you or judge you or put you in hell for something that you believed in your heart to be 100 percent true? No, God, no, no, wait, 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 wait. No, God, that's a good point. That's what Allah said in the Quran. Allah will not do that. Allah will blame you if the truth comes to you and will clarify it to you and it will turn away from it. For example, imagine I became Muslim and I never knew that uh, uh, smoking drugs haram. I never knew that. So I never knew I'm smoking drugs. It's a sin. However, I will not be held accountable for it because I never knew. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But if someone came and explained to me, okay, then this different thing. Likewise, doesn't mean because I don't know, therefore I should stay as ignorant. No. As a Muslim, Allah uh, encourage us to seek knowledge. knowledge. You see what I'm saying? Say seek for knowledge. example, as so a Muslim, Islam is objective. You alcohol is haram. Yeah. And as a Muslim, some other guy believes alcohol is halal. Who does no Muslim believe that? 
You say for example. There's no, no forget for example. That's the reality. Fine, 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 fine. That's my point. Prove to me in Islam that alcohol is haram. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned clearly in the Quran, Surah Baqarah. After Khamr, Allah mentioned the Khamr. What did he say exactly? Let me quote the verse. Do you not drink Khamr? No, no, no. Allah said worse than that. الله سبحانه وتعالى فاجتنب أنصاب الأسلام رسوم العمل الشيطان فاجتنبوه. you know اجتنبوه is worse than drinking. you know اجتنبوه this term. are you in Arabic you said to me. it means جنب. no I mean. side side away from you. stay away from him. like you know look. no no no. I'll give you an example. إبراهيم said. جنبني وبنية أن نعبد الأصنام. there's no saying to him just move me away. no mean that. Remove me far away from worshiping the idols. Mm. So, Fashtanibu uh, is severe uh, 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 terminology in a prohibition. Meaning that, that's oh, why. There are people who disagree, right? No, there's not. There's no Muslim disagree. I've, it, I've, I've heard Muslims who told me the same thing that you're telling me, yeah. but they said, like, put it to the side. Okay, uh, Muslim guy uh, told me it means put it on the side of you. So, uh, what Allah no, mentioned, no, no. okay, no, 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 no. that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, now, but, you know why? But because he was trying to tell me that Islam no, no. says you have to drink. So, no, the best one to explain. Do you see the difference? Yeah, yeah. No, no. Do you believe that he no, believes no, that? No, no, no. Listen, bro, listen, listen. What I'm saying, forget what he believes, what is outside the reality. Bro, if he I mean, believes if, that if, and he drinks, is God going to punish him for drinking? He knows it's, it's haram, yeah, no, going to punish him. He believes that it means to keep hurting. No, 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 I'll punish him because he's not a scholar of the seal of the Quran. He's not a scholar, exactly. Yes, what I'm saying. can he punish him for? Ignorance. Because why he's, he's what he's doing is committing the greatest sin for explaining the book of Allah with ignorance. Yes. Because Allah said the worst of the sin to speak about Allah without knowledge. So uh, for him to oh, let me, sorry, sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the best person to explain the Quran to us. And he said there's ten type of people who are cursed: the one who drink it, the one who carry it, the one who serve it, the one who sit around it. How on earth are these guys telling you you put it next to you? We put them cursed. So do you know what it means? But the way mean, it's severe, mean you should yeah, stay far away Quran. from it. This is in the Quran. No, we, we, we don't follow the Quran. Allah said for, in the Quran to us for Prophet Muhammad as well. So right, can I ask you another question about alcohol? Why? But by the way, divert, divert. No, 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 no. But it's, this is the same point because it was very important. Go on. No. Because on the same thing you said that's unclear. Yeah. God tells the people do not go close to to prayer. While in a state of khamr. Uh, uh, intoxicated. Intoxicated. Yeah. I know people. We don't take intoxicants and I don't even pray. It's haram, forbidden. And I know what you're saying. People yeah. who don't take intoxicants, yeah. but they don't even pray. So Muslims, most, most Muslims that I know don't pray. Bad example for you, man. But yeah, I, yeah, I know Muslims that pray as well. Alhamdulillah, good. The brothers who take drugs are going to be more likely to not pray than the brothers who don't, Allah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So why is God really, talking really. to the people who are praying, don't go close to prayer while you're intoxicated? Because you don't know what you say. Allah He's talking it. to a praying people. No, yeah, no, just because, doesn't mean because you're going to pray, therefore you pray the way you like. Yeah. But why would God speak? Because why? To, to, I tell to you the why. better part of the Muslims, the ones who no, pray. No, 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 yeah, no. And tell them, don't no. be. Don't be juiced when you go pray. No, see why you have a misunderstanding. Allah, uh, no, no, sir. But drunk, because Allah explained, because you don't know what you're saying. Imagine I'm drunk, uh, instead of saying Alhamdulillah, I said, Oh, my Allah, praise the idols. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, wait a minute, wait a minute, sir. Likewise, when Allah told us to do a good deed, it's not because you do it, it's enough. No, you have to do it correctly. Yeah, but you my, my point but is, also Allah could have easily no, said, no. La Taskaru. Huh? La Taskaru. Allah said, No, because it's a lot simpler nah. than La Taqrabu Salata wa Antum Sukkar. No, no, this one is much better than yours. You know why? Because this verse is one of the stages. The first stage, Allah mentioned in Khamr, there is some benefits, however, the evil out. Wait, the, the benefits, okay? okay? That's the first stage. Because look, look to the wisdom of the, the Creator. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down a revelation to Prophet Muhammad to society. Khamri was their nature. Even the guy said, Asqini li yawma khamra wa ghada khamra. Give me khamra today and give me khamra tomorrow. And when I die, bury me next to the tree of uh, graves in order for my vein to suck in the khamra from it. Just khamr. Ashab khamr. So look at the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the verse showing that the, there is benefit in it. However, the evil outweighs. Would you then say that drinking uh, a bit of alcohol is so, so, No, Prophet Salaam said no. So even the evil, little one, no. But listen carefully. Yeah? Then the second stage, that they will allow you to drink, but before prayer, do not. So people, people start drinking, go to prayer. Allah revealed the verse, do not 
to uh, pray while in a state of khamr. And it's changed. The, 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 then changed after. Uh, why by... do we then have, still have this verse? What, this verse what? Why do we still have that verse? Because uh, there's because a reminder for us. to us. No, it's a reminder to show, show you because Allah has abrogation to Quran 3. One verse was abrogated, the ruling and the verse abrogated. Sorry, what is abrogated? Mean? I mean, abrogated means that, for example, the verse about do not drink while on a state of uh, intox intoxication is abrogated by the other verse when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh, said. But what does abrogated mean? Mean the verse, like, example of that. It was, it was to omitted or something? Uh, uh, removed the ruling. Removed, okay. Yeah, removed the ruling. Okay. For example, imagine you come to a doctor, yeah. he will give you a medication for your body. Then you come after, he will give you another medication. People who think they are smart, he said, why didn't you give me that medication in the first place? Yeah. He said, no, because your body was not ready for the second one. Okay, I'll yeah, give yeah, you yeah. the first one, okay, okay, you okay. So the stages, it was it. Then the last one is Shtenibo. But we have to think more because about, to be honest. We're already at that stage, you know what I'm saying? It's like this, Judaism, you as a Muslim, believe that Judaism is the same as Christianity, is the same as Islam, is the same as whatever Adam believed in. No, Judaism, no. Right, so. Sorry, sorry. You keep smacking yeah, this guy. It's just you, but, <laughs> but positioning, but I'm left-handed, didn't it? Um, but what I'm saying is... Uh, one minute. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. No, go, on, go, on, yeah. go on, go on, go on. I don't want to take your time. Yeah. Uh, it was just a little question, like... Um, but, but, uh, you look heavy. 